Hi, in this video we're going to show you another file manager app you could use if you're not a fan of the Windows File Explorer app. So of course you could use both at the same time if you want, uh, but if you like this one you could use this instead for all your file management needs. Alright, so this is called QDir or Q directory. So there are a couple versions. There's an installable version and a standalone version. So I'm running the standalone version where you just run the executable like that. So if you wanted to use the standalone, you know, you could just make a shortcut to the exe if you want. Or if you do the installable version, it should create a shortcut for you. All right, so as you can see here, we have all of these panes. So instead of tabs, we're using panes, but you do have tabs within the panes. So if you click on this gray bar, for example, it'll automatically open a new tab to this PC. And then you could just toggle back and forth. And then you could right-click it, close the tab, close the other tab, duplicate it store and all kinds of other options here and then if you right click on the gray area you have some other options there as well okay so let's first go through these toolbar options on each pane here so obviously you're not going to be able to go over every feature of this because that would take a long time to do so so we're just going to give you a quick overview all right so we have our back and forth buttons up new folder change your views uh, refresh your path in there. If you click on this button, kind of gives you the same kind of quick access options that you see here. And then this one will show you your drives. And then down here you have your objects, your account of the objects in this folder that you're in. And then you can run specific tools from here if you want. Email a file if you configure that. Delete, cut, copy, paste. Then you have a filter option here. So let's say we wanted star.pdf. So it'll highlight all the PDF files there. And then if you close this, it'll still leave them highlighted. And then we have some options here to make some favorites. So if you click on add quick link, it'll make a favorite for whatever folder you're in. So you can see I have this one here and I also have this one. So if I click here, it'll take me there. Click here, it'll take me back to documents. All right, then up at the top here, we have some update options here. And if you want to change all of your views, you could do that. So let's say you wanted one big pane on the bottom and two on this top, you could do that. Or four of them and so on. Or just one. And then you could also close this view on the left here if you don't want to see that, if you just want your panes and not the uh, side menu here or the navigation pane. And then there's a search option here. So if you're on a file, uh, you could have it search the internet for information about that file. Print. So if you click on that, it will kind of give you a preview of what it's going to print, kind of like a screenshot of the folder. Add to favorites, magnifiers, and down to system tray. And over here you have some options too. Click on this. A bunch of different view options here as well. You know, refresh and search and so on. Alright, and then of course you could right click on items and this will bring up the same options you have if you were in File Explorer. Alright, so let's kind of go through some of these menu options here real quick. So if you want to duplicate a window, you could do that. You could save a state or like a view and then open it again if you want to do that. You could also save a current state as desktop item. So if we did that, let's just call this state on the desktop. If you close it, open up your save state here. And it just restores it the way it was. And there's also an option too to restore your current view. Uh, when you close it. So if you don't want to have to save a state, you could just have it save your current view and open it the same way each time. All right, then you can also open a command prompt from whatever window you're in. So we we're in documents. So it opens it focused to that folder. Same with PowerShell if you want to do that. Or if you want to just open the run command, you could do that. There's even a shutdown option here. Search. A couple tools for scanning. If you click on Explore, 
you can see it will open a file explorer window for each one of the windows you have open here and actually keep it in the same kind of order. All right, then we have another print option here, uh, repositioning, restart, restart as admin. All right, then at edit, you know, typical select all, invert your selection. So if you selected some files, you could select the opposite. Other tab options here to duplicate the tab. Okay, special and so on. Then we have some other view options here if you want to see the status bar or not, full screen. Typical file explorer views and sorting views. Same for grouping. Uh, refresh, another option to open the terminal. You could even change access from here. So that'll open up the basic uh, Windows Share option. And then you have the typical new options here, depending on what you have installed on your computer. And then if you want to view the properties, you could do that as well, just like you could if you're right clicking it. All right, then we have some favorite options here. So if you want to add a folder to your favorites uh, for quick access, and then you could organize your favorites as well if you need to add or remove anything. All right, then we have some extras. So here's where you could set it to start with the last window position. There's some other options here for starting it up. And there's another way to set your starting view here, different options that you'll see up here. Then we have our list view, so if you want to use color filters, show the grid lines, you want to have sounds, I'd probably turn this off because it's kind of annoying to have sounds while you're clicking around here. Change everything back to the default, and then some other view options here. Then we have our tree view option here. So I'm going to change some of the color options here, show only folders are all browsable and so on. So all the defaults will be checked here and then you could just kind of check other ones and see what they do. Some of these choices are not super obvious. So you're going to have to kind of check them and see if you notice the difference. You know, something like this lines, buttons at root, that doesn't make any sense. But if you tried it out, you might be able to figure out what it does. All right, title bar options. Default is to show nothing, but you can show the full path or the name, for example. Address bar options. So each one has its own address bar. Classic address bar, modern address bar. See, so like for example, there, can't tell exactly what that did. Change that back. So, some of these things, like I said, they're just kind of hard to figure out. So, there's going to be a lot of playing around to kind of see how this thing really works. Uh, color options, if you want to change any of that. Status bar options. Data size information. So if you want to change how things are displayed, you could uncheck the system default. And then if you want to just have megabytes, gigabytes, and so on, uh, decimal options, tab options here, file operations, print options, preview options, change the font or the size, uh, search options here, view settings, so another way to get to the settings we see up here. Make it your default browser, system options, network options, if you want to connect to a remote drive, how to start options, and then even more options here. So general colors, column options, filter options, programs. So you could add folder shortcuts or program paths for start or open actions. Quick links. Association and about. And then some info. And another nice feature is over here on the left, you could kind of expand your documents, which you can't do from the quick access. So if we open that over here in File Explorer, you could click on it, but you can't expand the default folder. You could expand other folders down here under this PC, but not the typical shortcuts. But here you can. And then actually expand subfolders within these as well. All right, so as you can see, there is quite a bit to it. And like I said, some of these things are not going to make any sense. So I've been playing with this for a little while here, and some of the things I just haven't bothered to even try and see what they do. 
because it just seems a little overkill for a lot of these options. But if you like, you have the multiple panes here. You know, like I said, you could have sub tabs within each pane. Then you might want to check it out. So this is an older program, I believe, as well. So it looks a little dated, but it still seems to work just fine in Windows 11. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you can download QDIR or Q directory, and you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe. Thank you.